Hey guys, how's it going? It's Alex Williamson, the most swollen eyed fish tuber you know. Tuber? I'm a tuber. That's about what I feel like a potato today. So, pardon the um, glamorous appearance that I have today. Um, also, it's second to the last day before the no shave November finally ends. Ugh, thank goodness. Um, this beard is getting very old, very itchy. A month is too much for me, I guess. Uh, although, it didn't really ever grow in that well in the front here. But how is everybody doing? LP Lurker, uh, Muppet, um, The Zen, Ginger. You know, I cooked with some ginger last night. Um, oh, good. JN. Alex and the two chatters from last night stream that helped with my auto questions. Good. So tonight, no real agenda. I just felt like a poo-poo. And so I wanted to come hang out with you guys. Um, I'm, I probably had an allergic reaction to something um, this morning or late last night. And then um, I have lupus. So once I inflammation gets bad, it starts like swelling in all my joints and organ tissue, yada, 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 boring, but, um, needless to say, I've just feel beat up today, so, I want to just get, get my mind elsewhere, my wife and I put in an offer on a house, and last we heard, we are one of two people that are in the, the lead, we may, I may have to disappear in the middle of this stream, uh, because if we get a call, then it has something to do with either we didn't get the house or we got the house, but all that being said, I'm here for you guys today, because you guys are here for me, um, you guys cheer me up, uh, let's flip this around, because fish, Look at my nanochromis is so happy and upbeat and up in the water. I don't know what she's doing. Um, her ovipositor's out, and she's alone. She has no male. So that's kind of uh, weird. And then the, the pleco, the lemon plecos are out too. The cribs are out. Even my, uh, not really out, out, but even my uh, frog, uh, my leopard frog pleco's out. And then look at the anodontodes on Mr. Male Lemon Pleco. So everybody's out, and it's because they are excited for Cyber Monday. So Cyber Monday, uh, I wanted to let you guys know that my uh, artwork on my t-shirts on Teespring, there's a link below. There's also a link um, if you're on the computer, it's probably like a little like a, 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 a row of, there's like a mask and a hoodie and things like that with fish on them. None of my artwork has anything uh, that says like secret history or, you know, like Alex Rocks or anything like that. Um, but it's 25% uh, off for today only now. Uh, it was a little bit of, yes, or it was yesterday too, but... Today only now with Cyber Monday, Cyber Small Monday, whatever you want to call it. Um, I set it up so that I think it's available in uh, Canada, Mexico, the UK, France, Germany, Italy. Uh, so most of Europe, I think. And then it may be Australia, too. So if, if you have Teespring and it says it ships to you... Um, great i they've told me that before and then other people have had troubles specifically new zealand and australia have had issues in the past but if you want um there's a link below to my teespring and then there's also um the code the secret is all it is in all caps no spaces um is that the call all right hold on guys hold on one moment we're getting a call about if we got the house or not I just got home, actually. <laughs> oh, you did? Yeah. Oh, I was like, wait, I thought it was going to be later. Um, so, uh, is Alex, are you on my own speakerphone? Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, the, the agent just called me. So, she, they did end up going with the, the offer that waived financing. Um, Cash. Which is kind of what we, we thought was going to happen, right, um, when they said that. And it was, it, literally, she's like, we didn't get it. 
<laughs> oh well. Oh my gosh. So we lost it by four thousand dollars. Whatever. All right, back to the stream, guys. I'll be a little quiet while my wife's still on the phone. Sorry. You guys are in on my life. Um. So aquatic arts. The link. Thanks, Amy. I said thanks. Um, so we didn't get the house, but we'll find another one. Eighth time's a charm. Eighth, eighth bid is a charm, but we lost it only by $4,000 because they had cash. Oh, well. I knew that was going to happen. I just had this gut instinct. That's why I'm streaming rather than bracing myself like I did the first four or five houses. Uh, Seattle's just a terrible place to buy houses right now. But in any case, uh... Aquatic Arts, if you guys have any questions, especially about anything we're looking at, like, you know, if it would work for your tank or what they're like, let me know, because this is just a good collection of fish, you know, I've been able to help them kind of curate, like, request them to bring in certain things, and I was going to tell you guys what I decided to buy myself. I ended up um, spending more money today. Uh, combining orders uh, <laughs> with what I already bought. Um, but I'll, we'll run down it real quick, which is, um, let's see here, how did it go? All right, so the lizard whiptail catfish, I got three of those. Um, let's see here. The true freshwater bumblebee, uh, and it's 30% off right now today, anything that's on there. Um, so I got, uh, three of the red lizard whip tails, three freshwater gobies, um, the Japanese gold endlers, uh, three cobalt dwarf siphodons, six of these, um, what do you call it, uh, um, half beaks, uh, a golden back yellow neocaridina, Multicolor mystery snail pack, uh, five of them. The devil spike snail. We'll look at bigger pictures in a moment. The uh, zebra snail mixed colors. A pair of opal uh, umbrella uh, borelli dwarf cichlids, uh, which are really pretty. And then some koi uh, bettas to breed a male and a female. And then last of all, some katapa leaves. So... I, yeah, I spent more than I had set myself up. <laughs> um, I, I, I set myself up. I knew I was going to buy a bunch of stuff. Um, but the code for you guys tonight only is, uh, it's secret, all in caps, secret CM, as in Cyber Monday, secret CM30, and 30 is the percent off. So secret CM30. No spaces, all caps. So that is how you guys can get this same deal. They're giving me the half beaks, which is cool. They're not these ones, um, but it's like a candy store, this place. Uh, you know, I love it. Um, between them and then Redfish, Bluefish, my buddy Jason, which I don't have any discount codes for you guys. You know, he's just setting up and everything. Oh, right on, Dave. Thanks. So... Basically, if you guys use these codes, if you guys decide to buy during this, they have dedicated uh, or they've promised to set aside 8% of the profits that they make off of us all on the channel, and they're going to give it right back to the community, um, to us, to in the form of we're going to do some giveaways either this week or next week, but right before Christmas, before they do, before they shut down their shipping. So, um, that's the exclusive part, and that's our incentive to, uh, tell our friends about it, basically, because, like, last year they gave away, um, almost $2,000 we raised by buying stuff through them to share. So, that was pretty cool. Um, but, yeah, so, let's take a look at what's still in stock. A lot of stuff went out of stock. Um, 
But before we do that, we're going to go to the um, Teespring real quick. Um, Secret History Merch. Come on. Uh, all right, here we go. And I just wanted to remind you guys uh, that this is the kind of stuff we've got on sale there today. 25% off just for today. Um, I know this is a shameless plug. Uh, this is advertising. But, hey, this is what is going to go towards when we get a new house, uh, towards the fish room, towards um, cool stuff that I can work on projects and share with you guys and so forth and so on. So here what we have is... Um, We've got a, sa a salmon, a salmon, a king salmon. And, uh, boy, you really can't see that design very well on the live stream. Um, but what it is is it's clockwork. Um, boy, it looks just like a blah. Um, I like aquatic arts more than boost plants. Their shipping is expensive. If you end up getting the biggest size box, it can run you as much as 70 bucks. That's if you're buying as many things as I just got, like 10 bags of fish. But it's usually somewhere between 30 and 70 bucks for shipping, which is a bummer. But they kind of combine that into their prices. So let me show you an example. Like um, their super high grade orange reallys, for instance. Um, they had those the other day, I noticed. Yeah, so those are only $5.95. And it gets cheaper when you buy more. So they're, you know, if you, oh, they're, wow, they're running really low. So it would be like, I don't know, um, you know, 45 bucks for 10 or something. So it's a really good deal. But the better part of it all to me is that when you go to, say you go to um, uh, freshwater fish, uh, like nano fish or whatever, this is, I, I love buying my breeding stock from here, from Jason, and from the Wet Spot Tropicals. I only buy my breeding stock from the best places because, I mean, it's, it's, that's so important when you are, uh, when you're trying to do something like start a for profit breeding. It's just really important to, to do that. Um, oh, you got shrimps, Rockford? Um, weird, it cut off your, uh, window. Odd. Uh, thanks, uh, fake name, you love the clockwork stuff? Yeah, so the other thing that they do is they give money to a women's, um, women and, uh, homeless women and children's shelter. Uh, they give money to the Humane Society. If you adopt a pet, they give you a $50 gift certificate. Like, you just show that you adopted the pet with your certificate of, of adoption, and they'll give you that much in-store credit. They do tanks for teachers where they set up teachers in classrooms, and I've set up over a dozen people now who are elementary or high school or middle school teachers that have been able to set up uh, really cool things, and they've helped them even with finding tanks locally if they're nearby. And all sorts of stuff like that. So it's been really cool. But when you see this that says tank bread, most of these tank bread with the exclamation point means that it came from local breeders in the Midwest. So somewhere between Chicago and St. Louis, they had someone breeding for them, which to me is really valuable in this hobby rather than big stuff out on farms and stuff like that, you know. Hey, what's up, Jesse? How's it going? So I was just telling people, Jess, that uh, um, we're gonna. I bought some stuff, so we're. I'm gonna show the stuff I bought and, and say tell you guys I'm excited. But if you have any questions, guys, this is a live stream for you about just anything. Just wanted to interact with you guys. I am right now. I'm I'm crouched over, <laughs> looking at the computer. Sorry, my hair looks crazy, like as per normal, but um. I had uh, an allergic um, attack plus um, lupus, um, so I'm just, well, I, I'm not going to show you guys my arms and legs and stuff, but 
all swollen and, and blistered out. I need to shave because of the no shave November. So I'm just looking haggard. So I wanted to spend some time with my fishy friends. Um, and so I figured I'd tell you guys the deals um, going on today. 25% uh, off any of my merchandise, which is my standard... Um, uh, <laughs> which is my standard uh like profit on a lot of this stuff so you know if a t-shirt's 15 bucks or whatever i usually make i don't know three four bucks off of it or no that's if it's 20 for a t-shirt yeah so it basically it basically gets rid of my profit uh almost which is fine um uh yes and JN, I will ask them uh, about the red and black Madakas. Uh, and Elijah Wolf, uh, Elijah the Wolf, how many sparkling garamis in a 10 gallon? I could, you could probably put 12 in there if it's planted. Um, what I would tend to do is I'd probably put six in there and then I'd get some other stuff, which we'll look at right now. I would tell you what I would do. I would get some sparkling garamis. I would get. Um, Maybe some Ember Tetras you could do in there. You could do some... Sparkling Garamis can... They're, they're usually peaceful with fish their size. They can eat shrimp, and they can sometimes get kind of nippy. Um, you know, actually, if you got some a male and a female um, peacock gudgeon, they would hold their own totally. Um, if you wanted to get an oddball fish like one of these, I got three of these. The lizard whiptail cats. These guys are awesome. Um, they just look so otherworldly. And for me, this is a really good price. So 30% off this. So, I mean, you're figuring it's 7 bucks off of that. How you doing, honey? Okay. So, yeah, we didn't get the house, guys. That's what that phone call was saying. Um, I kind of suspected as much earlier today and already kicked the wall and so forth. So, um, it's just frustrating looking for a house in this market, but you guys know I want, <laughs> want to, uh, get settled. We want our own place. We've been married over four years and we want our own place. Lee, hello. How are you doing? You awful piece of trash. We widow Wilcox. No, I'm just kidding. He said you horrible people. So I'm throwing it back at him. Lee, it's good to see you live from the great grand old uk uh danikin what is up kenny and jesse what's up here fishy you did a great job on father fish's uh stream tonight you need to be on the camera more um you have one male betta fish and seven neon tetras and a 10 gallon that's kind of a an iffy mix just because of the size um it could work totally i mean sometimes neon tetras are quick enough and and the bettas are kind of chill enough they hang out in the corner it's no problem that it works out but you know what i would do personally what i would do if i had a 10 gallon and i wanted to get some sparkling garamis is i would get um probably like six five or six sparkling garamis they like little groups and then I would get, um, these are pretty cool. Well, they're sold out now. I knew those would go quick. That's a good deal for three. It's a crazy good deal. Um, but then what I would get is something else that's that's an oddball. So like a whiptail or a bumblebee goby. Let's see if they still have those. Yeah, these are really cool. These are pretty. Um, these bumblebee gobies are, are fun. They, they kind of hide a lot, but they're really cute. <laughs> um, Dave's Aquarium Thoughts with a $2 super chat. Thank you so much, Dave. Um, he says, marbled limpet snails with Mabuna. Good or bad idea? Um, I don't know. Probably bad idea. With a Mabuna puffer, probably a bad idea. Uh, <laughs> considering that's their favorite meal. Now, if you're talking about cichlids, Mabuna cichlids, um, then maybe but oh mabuna cichlids okay um yeah mabuna cichlids um maybe i think let's look at those real quick i think they they stay pretty um close to the rocks 
if you know what I mean. Um, let's see here. Um, invertebrates. Let's see what snails they even have left because they've got some awesome snails. I got them to order a couple really rare snails that you don't see in the hobby much. And uh, they got them, and they got them for such a good price. You know, they could have marked them way up like a lot of, like Arizona Gardens and places like that do, but they didn't. Oh, T-Bone, a $4, or I mean a $2 Super Chat. Thank you so much. Um, what's your favorite Neocaridina shrimp they have right now? Well, Danielle, I will show you that in just a moment. Let's take a look at the snails first, though. Misfits, how's it going? Good to see you. Always love to have you here. Um, but, you know, I got the... What I ended up getting is some of these... I got three of these black devil spike snails, which are kind of like... Um, they get a little bigger. They get two and a half to three inches. So they get, you know, a little longer than a Malaysian trumpet snail, maybe an inch longer. Um, at most but they also have the albino mystery snails danikin thank you so much i f i appreciate that five dollars super chat saying don't stress about the house you will uh find the right one will fall to you my friend thank you um it's been a year of looking and i mean not that i it sucks i i wish no ill will towards anyone, but you'd think with the economy going poorly um, that there'd be more people selling and downsizing or renters or rental units going up for sale back on the market as people kind of downsize their property or whatever or get evicted, unfortunately. Uh, but it hasn't been that way in Seattle. Uh, the economy since COVID has gone up 9.8% in housing it's ridiculous but um in any case yeah we'll figure something out uh like yeah hc aqua said well this was our seventh off seventh offer honey yeah and uh, seventh offer fifth time coming in second uh so what i was gonna say is i got some of these they're really cool and 30 percent off of this so they're basically three bucks you know crazy good deal for those rare snails they also come in another form which i wonder oh they still have them i know they i know they ordered a lot but this is the same species but they also come in this form which is like known as cappuccino sometimes they call it like the red or hell devil um spike instead of the black devil spike oh they just sold out of these nearites these are my favorite nearites because they're teeny, and uh, they've got the little horns, but they're teeny, they come in little patterns, but they don't really lay many colors, which is really nice. Uh, and I like I like the little three pack was four ninety or four fifty nine. They're small. Um, now here's another one that's really interesting, which is the marbled limpet that we were just talking about. So I have only had one of these, and it was one that someone gave me. Looks like they're down to, oh, you can buy 30 snails? They must be down to, that's odd. You can buy 30, or you can buy B grade, or you can buy one. Odd. You might be able to put them in the cart different ways, but um, they have a lot of back, um, back stock that they've been holding back during the sale, I know. Like, each day they've rolled out more species uh so it's a completely peaceful obviously the limpet um it, it holds on really good so i would say that maybe it would work for um in a mabuna tank if you've got smooth rock you know and glass for it to cling on to i just don't think it would work in the long run um like if it's just little rocks um that it has to navigate over or cross sand or anything like that but if it's got hard surfaces that the fish isn't going to be able to get it at they there's not much to grab onto um and it says they have a far lower bio load than most snails which is good to know and they're pretty cool looking i mean some of them are neat looking and yeah they move slow as well so they're not going to move like as fast as a nearite Aquamate, thank you so much, buddy. Um, I appreciate that. Uh, 
Aquamate and I, we are going to be doing uh, a little side project coming up soon. So he's going to be on my channel and uh, I on his as well. Um, yeah, the HC Aqua says we have the limpets that occur here naturally. They're plain. I want to set up Neo Caradina tank. How do I raise the TDS before putting shrimp in? Well, you can buy TDS uh, raising things or you can go... I mean, like, Petco usually now carries Fluval uh, Shrimp Essentials, which is TDS. Uh, it's, it's like calcium and some other uh, carbon and other good things for shrimp. But then, and stuff to encourage um, bacterial biofilm growth. Um, but uh, these, the limpets, I don't think they uh, reproduce in fresh water. Let's see here. I'm not sure. Let me make sure that that's, if that's true or not. Um, it says it's good to have a, a, a well-established aquarium for the biofilm. Uh, they only get to one and a half inches, so they stay small. These are the Taiwanese, Taiwanese kind. Um, and they're scavengers, so they just eat whatever, and they eat lots of algae. Um, but... Let's see here. It thrives in a variety of environments. Doesn't eat plants um, that are alive. It, it just eats fallen. It's a detrivore. Um, let's see here. Uh, yeah, breeding has been reported, but such reports have been unsubstantiated so far in fresh water. Uh, I've heard people, though, in Florida have had, you know, such high TDS that it mimics salt water. Um, it looks like they sold out of all the ones I was telling you guys on Friday to get the Pagoda Snail, such a cool one, The uh, all the Red Racers and Nearites, uh, or not all the Nearites, but all the real flashy ones. Oh, maybe they are out of more Nearites. Oh, they still have the Gold Thorn and the Zebra Thorn Nearites. They did just sell out of that combo. Um, but they've got the mystery snails. The assassin snails are only $2.89 a piece. And that's plus you get 30% off. Um, but then we've got the black mystery snail. They're, they're black with the, the mocha um, body. And then blue mystery snails. These are really cool. These golden mystery snails and so are the ivory white mystery snails so i i ended up buying this pack here um which is which was um 40 or, oh wait no it was like 14 bucks i think for five but you can get the 15 pack for 41.39 and i mean even if you sold these for four or five bucks to, to friends or whatever uh that might be a way to go about it if you only wanted a couple um but they they spawn. What's nice about them is they spawn by coming up out of the water, and so uh, you don't have to worry about them taking over your tank. Aquarium cop, what's going on? Uh, how's it going? So yeah, this is AquaticArts.com. If if you were wondering, Aquarium cop, and uh, the the code is secret C as in cat. M as in Monday, Secret CM, so Cyber Monday is what that stands for, Secret CM30, all together, one one word, all caps. Um, yeah, I won't even bother showing you guys all the other cool stuff that they had earlier before the sale, but uh, there was a lot. But still some good options in here, especially if you feel like these uh, hard to f harder to find mystery snails. Uh, and the devil spike black snail, very cool. Um, so then for my Teespring account, if you want to buy a shirt uh, or a mask or leggings or a phone case with uh, my illustrations of fish on them, no advertising for my website or anything is on there. Um, those are, uh, the, the code for that is the secret in all caps and it's only for today uh runs through midnight so yeah 
Uh, let's see. Do we have other questions? Thank you, Muppet, for sharing the links. I appreciate it greatly. Greatly. Um, the greatly. Uh, let's see here. My shrimp here in Florida have been molting like crazy. I'm... Oh, in water since I got them. Well, it is a full moon. To, is it the 30th tonight? I think tonight is the full moon. So uh, a lot of them will either molt tonight and then uh, they'll molt and then do one more hangout and then they'll molt again next full moon. Or they will end up um, getting buried uh, at pregnant. Oh, I don't have uh, a I don't have a stream yard uh, set up, cop. Uh, unfortunately, but I will be doing a home show. The plan is to do a home show tomorrow. But I need people to volunteer. Otherwise, we'll just be going live and flying by the seat of our pants, which might be fun too. So we'll still do that. But Mary's gonna host our first stream yard show tomorrow. There is no uh, I've never done the stream yard thing before, so. I'm excited. Um, yes, I will bark at the moon. I will, cop. Um, and uh, yeah, so it's a good night though for your for your fish to get um, buried up in shrimp, or your fish to get, sorry, your fish to get uh, pregnant or spawn, or and your your shrimp to bury up. We're gonna look at shrimp in a second too, um, but yeah. Oh, you got the peppercorries right on. Uh, your face is messed up, Mr. Grombie. Well, that's not, that's no excuse. Look at me. I feel like I got maced. My, my eyes are all messed up. <laughs> um, but, oh, I got these. Oh, they still have some. Good. So they've got the Vieta... And it's not Vieja, it's Vieta, these ones. They're not like the other cichlids. But for, uh, they're on sale 30% off 34 So basically, 10 bucks off of that. And these guys are only 20 so I got a pair. And they, they um, I got a pair of them. And these ones where you're able to get a male and a female for 43 So you'll get another, like, 13 bucks off of this price so it'll be like 30 bucks so shipping's a little more with them you know it could be like 40 to 70 dollars it's like 70 is a worst case that's if you buy like i think that's if you buy more than six bags of fish um but i think if you buy under that it ends up being somewhere between 28 and and like 38 bucks or something because uh, they do the overnight obviously but this is also another place um where where i've found um all my rice fish that i have and granted i did pay a lot for the red cap rice fish um they're on here and they were like 20 bucks a fish but i was able to sell them and I decided to sell them. Oh, they still have the Kohaku. They just added more of these. Oh, and they added the black German rams for only 38 And then they get the sale price on top of that. These are the darker German rams that actually... Um, these are the dark German rams that actually um, don't have the bright orange fins. Jesse's got some with the bright orange fins still, which I like that look too. There's just different kinds. Um, but these, these are beautiful little live bears. These, um, these are great. These Kohaku sword tails. They don't get that big either. These ones are a small sword tail. But they've got that cool albino eye. And their vision isn't messed up from it in this, this group. Uh, I also ordered, uh, not these Japanese yellow endler but the gold ones i believe uh let's see here oh they also have croaking garamis that's another um interesting little fish that you could get um that could be fun uh what do they max out at 
So they max out at like two and a half inches usually, um, but they they bark, which is cool. Dave's Aquarium Thought said, I'm boring for sharing streams, so I won't share anymore. Uh, what? Uh, oh, you got the Borelli 2 K Batty? Nice, nice. Um, is this all super boring, guys? Is this just watching paint dry, watching me flip through this? Um, because, uh, Hayden, hello. Oh, look, they also have the full platinum guppies for only 13. I've seen these. These have been 30 or 40 bucks a pair. Uh, pretty much everywhere that I've seen. Oh, they are 30, 30 a pair, but then they get 10 bucks off right now. So, that's cool. Um... So, they also have the pencil fish, and they've got these thread fins, which is cool. Um, which, right now, you can get six for 22 bucks, and then 30% off. So, eight bucks. Um, crazy. So, eight bucks off of 22. I mean, that's going to be a crazy idea, uh, or a crazy deal. Um, and these are a really fun one. Uh, so, what does that come out to? Eight bucks off of 22 for six fish. Uh, so, that's gonna be, what, 14? Is that two bucks of, like, 250 of fish? That's crazy. That is crazy cheap for those. Those are always 10 bucks locally here. Um, sometimes someone will breed them and they'll be a few, like a few bucks. Also, they've got the blue Eggers Killies. These guys, um, they don't always come out in this color shade. Sometimes they're more blue. Sometimes they got yellow. They're just kind of an interesting one. Uh, yeah, you can see here's one with red. More prominent. Um, but they're doing pairs for 45 and then a third off, so that's $15 off. So for $30, so $15 of fish, you can figure out some of these are really inexpensive compared to normal. Also, these are my Stiphodons that I have, and I ordered three more, uh, but love these gobies. So much personality, so fun, and uh, they're just really cool. Uh, Looks like nineteen ninety nine, so the minus seven bucks, so thirteen bucks for for one, which is pretty standard. Um, oh, Master Black, you're in Europe. Yeah, that's why you think this stuff's expensive. For us, this stuff is super rare. A lot of it. Um, does hydrocodile Japan need soil to grow? No, it doesn't need it. It does better with it, and it'll crawl better with it. But it will just kind of grow if you have enough nutrients in the water column. You can kind of float it like a pearl weed or anything like that. Uh, these endlers are nice. These are this, like, what are they calling them? The sunburst cobra endlers, uh, which is nice. Ah, uh, Lee's in, in, in uh, England, and he's never heard of a lot of these fish. So, um... Thank you, Eric. I appreciate that. I don't know that I do a ton for the hobby, but, um, you know, thanks for hanging out with me, guys. I always appreciate you guys and and uh, hanging out here. Uh, looks like all the electric blues, these are what I ordered earlier today, too. So everything's going fast on this website. But these guys were going for only, um, I got a good deal on them. What were they? I think they, I got three of them, and they were... I want to say 12, no, 13 bucks. Um, also, while they have sold a lot of fish, there's some, though, that I think they're holding back from the sale. Um, th those were really nice, too. But this website, you know, they work really hard to... To curate an interesting line of, of these things. Uh, another thing is they, they had these. Oh, they're sold out now. But the, the blonde cobra uh, guppy, which has that blonde gene. Yeah, I spent too much, too. I spent $300. So um, that was rough. Um, 
I love their gobies and of course dream to become a crab queen shoot high right yeah um you know they had the pom-pom crabs and let's let's go look um their plant section's great too i mean these guys i've been friends with them since since they were just doing shrimp um and a few like baddest and other stuff uh but right now um i mean i would say money wise their their cherries are really good for for the five bucks like they're real high end though they're out of blues though their pom-pom crabs though um are 14 so that they're gonna be 10 on sale for 10 uh and that's a good deal they're usually 20 18 to 20 bucks when i see them normally so yeah that's that's the little um pom-pom crab uh, also, the CPOs love these things. They're going to be like seven bucks or so. Uh, and those are the little crayfish that only get an inch and a half. Um, they're kind of mean. They'll, they'll nip at little fry and other shrimp, but they're, they are cool. And then now lately they've been carrying, which is really cool for breeders. I don't know if you guys, um, have figured out um this or notice this but it's really hard to find wild variants of shrimp to breed back into your line so say you had these bloody mary shrimp that are expensive you know they're eight to ten bucks a shrimp usually for the highest grade and say that you're getting some issues with the inbreeding on them well then you can go here and for only four bucks you can get the the first, what, this, if you, believe it or not, this is what the cherry shrimp looked like about, I don't know, 10, 10 or 15 years ago in the hobby when they were new. That's what they looked like. And, yeah. Um, you can get these, though, Painted Fires, for only five ninety five, And they're really good. You can see the red legs. They've got the little opaque and ten eye, which is nice. Um, and then they've got the Thai micro crabs. Um, let's see, is this three of them? Five. You get five for thirty bucks, minus thirty percent. So basically, you're gonna take. It's gonna be like twenty two bucks for five of the micro crabs. These things used to be fifteen, twenty bucks a piece. Like a year or two ago, they were that expensive. Now, these are really teeny. I haven't ever had them because I feel like I'm just going to lose them in the, the scape. But for a nano tank, like on a desk, like a little Iwagumi kind, oh, man, be sweet. They've got the blue vampire shrimp, the, uh, the fan and filter feeder, the weird fan claws, fan of claws. Um, and then, oh, they sold out of their Red Rileys, but they've still got their Blue Rileys, or Rileys, however you want to say it. Um, they had Wild Negro Caradina, that's the other thing. So for four bucks until today, they had Wild Strains. So you could get Shoko, you could get the Ausha, and you could get the Hakur Hakuri, um, uh, Strains, and that's pretty sweet. Um... They still got the limpets, the mystery snails. They're crystal shrimp. Um, they're really good quality. Um, they're A through S grade. And um, sometimes you'll get like an even better one though, honestly. Um, yeah. So again, the code it, for this is in linked below. But look at this. These new blue David eyes. These are these are um, these are brand new, and they're the ultra dark so they're they're technically translucent but they've got like these kind of reddish eyes and they are um they're gonna be on sale for 10 bucks a piece but i haven't seen anybody carrying these online yet other than uh, a few like breeders who will put like five up or something for sale so um if you were to get a 10 pack 125 they're expensive 
Um, but when I'm breeding something, I don't worry about that because I assume I'm going to get maybe half of what I paid per animal once I'm breeding it, but then that will be a price where I can get them out the door to the customer really quick, no problems, you know. Um, this is so cool, too. It just looks so angelic. And it's only 12 bucks, but it just looks so cool. Um, they're not friendly. They'll tear things apart. Probably want at least a 20 gallon or a uh, 15 gallon for them. Uh, and they'll eat goldfish. They'll eat, you know, other fish. But yeah. So that 10 gallon, what would be a great idea is to do maybe five or six sparkling garamis. And uh, then do um, maybe some Ember Tetras or Cori Hebrosis. And then get like maybe three three um, Clown Killies or Rocket Killies uh, to hang out at the very top. Oh, these are a great price too. These are the, um, for six bucks, so minus 30%, so like four... 20 or 4.30, um, you can get these high-grade orange release, which are another great one. These were great, too. These are like a monos, but peaceful. Um, the Babaltis, they still had... Uh, they still... Oh, they still have the, th the three-pack. And uh, they're green jades. Nothing will touch these. this line they have. These are insane. Um... Their greens are the most consistent I've ever seen. And I've been looking for green jade lines forever. And these ones stay super dark, super green. It's great. Um, but yeah, so for 10, they're 80. So then take the discount. So basically, you know, you take 3 times 8, so 24. So you're taking, you know, it'd be 60... $55 for all those. Misfits, thank you for the super chat. Laura, thank you for the super chat. I appreciate it, guys. Um, thank you so much. I, I really do appreciate it, especially since I just spent a bunch of money on fish. Hopefully, though, we'll be able to do some species profiles and some fun stuff. Um, here's those gold neon, gold nebula, I should say, shrimp. I've got these downstairs. We'll go take a look at them in a minute. Um... And then uh, they've got all sorts of crazy crayfish. They always have the Chirax. And then their blue bolts look really nice. For tw I mean, they're expensive, but they look really nice. Um, they've also got the Babaltis, which are... Um, some of them are from Iraq. Some of them are from um, India. And these ones are really cool. Uh, the guppies that they sell in pairs, which are nice... I got the gold ones, which aren't listed right now. Oh, they also have vampire crabs back. So they just uploaded these tonight. Purple vampire crabs, $12.99. These are the Dennerlay crabs. Um, and it's for a male. It looks like they're out of females. Um, but these guys are really cool looking. Isn't that cool? He's got a yin yang on his head. Reminds me of the uh, Prodigy album cover, Fat of the Land. <laughs> and then they've got the Little Red Riding Hood, Neo Caradinas, which I just have the red up top. They've got the Blue Cajuns, and uh, yeah. So, I mean, if you look back through their catalog, they've had so many. They have so many. Oh, they have these guys, too. They're both these. Um, what did I click to end up? under here oh and the other new thing they have are these um they still have some it looks like these are onyx so these are the newest they almost look metallic but they they're like black base coat with buffing of white and black on them and those are the newest neo caradina species they're kind of like the metallic ones like the blue metallics um Really cool. Um, really cool little shrimp. 
and probably going to be worth good money in the hobby for a while until they until people start breeding them all over then then they'll lose it obviously um but i mean some of these look at some of these crazy crayfish i mean they're just bonkers this one's the most expensive one they have but look at the patterns on that thing the Chirax, uh, or Sherex, they tend to be a little more peaceful than some of the other ones, but they're still crayfish. They're still going to attack anything that they feel like snipping at, being little jerks with. Um, so, there's that. Um, you know what they have, though, that's cool right now? Um, well, I would love these. I almost bought these, but then I bought the slimline ones instead. I bought six of the slimline half beaks. Uh, or highline. And then uh, these. Look at these. These are expensive, but I want one so bad. If I had a big tank, I would get this in a heartbeat. Um, so you can get a juvenile or a pair or a group of juveniles. Uh, and these guys are just really cool looking. Now, the thing with cichlids is sometimes, um, someone will have, you know, a boatload of those and you'll think, oh, those are only five bucks locally. Uh, but, uh, yeah. And that's because somebody had a ton. And normally they're really expensive. Uh, look at all of the um, cichlids they've got right now. Smaller size cichlids. But they've got um, the gold head. Um, um, Comprisip. Sips. Uh, these new. Um, these new uh, panda tetras. Which are kind of cool. They look like reed tetras. But they've got way more iridescence and then they look like i've said this before but they looks like they have a jewel in their belly it's some organ or something that shows through that's clear also so whoops so that's kind of cool they're a neat little fish um but i just i love looking through what they have right now too like look at these look at these shellies they're so pretty Ugh, drool um more cichlids only uh, 13 bucks right now might have to get those no no I can't get any more also look at these oh so pretty only 13 bucks also red fin shell dwellers very cool oh even the babies look cool um, but yeah, they had the green babalti shrimp too here. Oh, they've got, wow, that's crazy. I've never seen these this cheap. I paid a hundred dollars for one of these three years ago, but this is the golden sun, um, catfish, wood cat family. Um, they've also got my leopard plecos here, only 62. So then you take 30% off of that. So that's minus almost 20 bucks. Uh, they've got Bolivian rams, basically wild uh, German rams. Their color isn't quite as pronounced, obviously, but still pretty cool. Good way to keep the genetics completely healthy. Um, I mean, at this point, you don't need to go to the, that extreme. But they've got the Kubota rasboras. Um, I think that's for, is that for five of them? Three or five? Three. Okay, so that's it would be minus seven, yeah. So I don't know, be four bucks a fish or something. I paid as much as six many times. Um, peacock gudgeons are a normal price, uh, but look at some of these. Only forty four bucks for the um, for the royal king, um, Alinquer. And then for the L333s, they have the, those and where did they go? They had the 
albino version too. And they have this guy, which is awesome. The Allen Core Tiger Tiger Pleco. Um those ones get large, but they're eighty nine. Those are expensive. Um Spotted Borneo suckers, uh Pandagaras, so they're only six bucks right now. These large lamp eye killifish, they're really cool. Um Hey, Fishy Business Aquatics. Oh, I'm glad you're digging the selection that, you know, I tried to team up with somebody who's bringing some really cool fish out. These are like Lucas Brett's. Um, I think he does his for 15 or 20. I can't remember. We can go look at LRB too real quick. Um... I forgot what I was going to say. Oh, but I've got shrimp uh, shrimp phone cases for uh, $19.99 and then minus 25%. And uh, hoodies um, with uh, Corydoras. Uh, uh, one side has the um, clockwork Cory. And then the other side has the realistic Cory. Trilineatus. And, uh, I mean, even more beta. And this is all my artwork, obviously. On the other side, it's got a realistic beta. And it comes in lots of colors and varieties, you know. The secret, all caps, no spaces, that's how you're going to get this stuff for 25% off. I won't be doing a big sale like that again, probably, other than maybe I'll do another one on Christmas, but that's probably it. Also, if there's something you like, email me or message me, leave a comment, and I can put, like, if you want a red mug instead of a, whatever, a, a black one. But I really like, um, I really like this one, which is $14.99. You'd get 25% off. So, I'm basically doing these at, at, at cost um, with some of these products. Like, I didn't even make money on <coughs> a couple of them. But then we've also got the leopard, or I mean the zebra pleco on a pillow. We've got wall tapestries. We've got beanies. We've got um, masks, uh, goldfish, and we've got, you know, obviously... Whenever we've got something like a shrimp on this side, a Neocaridina, then we've got the wind-up version on the front. So, kind of where technology, history, art, culture, everything meets with nature and fish is kind of the idea um, behind this whole series. So... Yeah, so here's a nice goldfish. And on the other side, this was specific for um, Ginger Graves because she had me draw this for her. These are her um, multis, um, multis uh, that um, are the shell dwellers. And we just had an episode where we talked about the golden ratio and spirals and things so it's kind of fun but uh, this one is a goldfish and the multis so i know that's a weird combo but uh it was somebody requested it and i'm happy to set those kinds of things up when people know they're gonna buy it um the salmon one has been really popular in the northwest just the, the people like the salmon uh clockwork salmon also um the there's the Shelly's alone, the shrimp alone. So there's just different colors. You can ask for something specific if they don't have the little color on the menu. And if they don't have the size or cut you want, I'll look into what I can do. Just get at me um, somewhere where you leave a comment. But these ones are, if I was a woman, these are what I would get. I, would, I think these are rad. <laughs> they're, they're leggings that are 
shrimp. Okay. Uh oh, Ming Bristol or Britson. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. We got a five dollar super chat. Thank you so much. And of course, I wish I could do a sale on memberships, but they don't let me do that on the channel. So yeah. Uh here's the lemon the blue eye lemon plecos that I have that I've had for three years now. Um and uh they've got them for twelve and then 30% off today. This is by far the biggest sale they're going to have, I think. They've also got the Gold Hong's Low Eye um, Dwarf Cichlids, which is cool. They don't list theirs as gold, but that's what they are. People pay more money for the gold variety than the normal variety. Um, and the Whiptails that I ordered, I love them. Oh, I'm so excited for these guys. They're going to go in with my Stiphodons, Stiphodons. Um, they've got the Glass Gobies still, Golden Zebra Loach, the Pygmaeus um, Quarries. These guys are so cute and just so fun to watch. So you get six, so they're, they're ten apiece, but then you're going to subtract 30%, so they come down to six or seven apiece. Um, six or seven dollars a piece. They also have the Adolphus, um, uh, for three, so, what is that, um, like, seventeen dollars minus, uh, a third, so something like twelve or thirteen bucks for the Adolphus catfish, or Adolfo. Um, which normally I've seen go for twenty twenty five. Uh they've got the black emperor tetras, which are cool. Um they've got rainbow shiners still, which is great. A great native uh to the United States fish. Really pretty. You guys have seen mine in the videos and stuff like that. Um but just rad stuff they've got going on here. Uh, oh, they also have these Goiter River Rainbows for 47 How many do they give you for that? Three. Three of the juvenile or midsize Goiter River. Two and a half inches. Um, oh, these are what I ordered. And they still have them, guys. They've also got the Leucistic Bicher, Senegalese Bicher. But um, they've got these, which are the gold. Uh, looks like they've got, oh, they've got one female, three males left. Eh, someone could still get these, but I really want to spawn these and cross them with my rainbow sherbet tiger endlers and just see what happens. Might be a mess. Oh, they still have the avocado puffer. Why didn't I buy one? I want one so bad. I just don't have the space. That's why. But the avocado puffer, very cool. Um, and completely affordable. It's like 20 bucks right now with the sale. Which is neat for a, a dwarf pupper. Pupper. Puffer. Uh, red nose. And sisters. Uh... And then all these. So what I, I think what they decided they threw in for free was the uh, both the male and female beta of this. So I think I got one of these assorted ones. I mean, these guys are just gorgeous. And then another of these, the koi ones, I think. Yeah. This is kind of what Sergio is here. Um, it's that Manakapuru angelfish, um, but mine is not wild. It's got the, <coughs> it's got the, um, oh, there's the other, uh, Vieta. Um, all right, we're almost done at, at fish. Cocktoides, these are great. I love these. That's got to be for three or six of them red neon blue eyes um oh you get nine of them for 73 so they're gonna be you know, seven, I don't know 
seven bucks or something. Then they've got all their rice fish. They've got their silver cichlid. Um, uh, Vieja. The Argentia. Oh, they just sold out of these, but they had these going all day. The black ghost knife. And uh, there's those orange quarries that I have. These are incredible. If you've seen Dan's fish tanks, uh, his live stream, these guys swim by all the time in the background. And they're the gold uh, Denison barb or um, what do they call them? Ball shark. Not ball shark. Um, maybe it is. Maybe uh, Somebody will remind me. Uh, are they the ball of shark? Uh, Aaron Haley, what's going on? Jess, what's going on? Um, bye, Jess. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, and they look, a lot of these critters look a lot better, um, in real life, obviously, but these guys just look so great, especially when they color up like that male there. Alright, and then they've got their, they've also got supplies like caves and bright well and all that stuff but um let's see here. moss balls moss balls only 379 for the like, large ones are seriously like that big they're huge um and they've got all these flame swords for four five seven um Just kind of your standard prices. Oh, they got rid of the needle leaf aguara, Ludwigia aguara, uh, dwarf Anubius. They still have hornwort sold out. That's funny. Uh, coral moss they just added back in, and it's thirty percent off the ten dollars. Uh, yeah. Plus. You could, in theory, like, win everything that you went and bought back <laughs> if they do enough giveaways uh, from people buying it. The other one is the Golden Nicaea that I want to find for you guys. Uh, is a really nice one that they've been selling. And they had some this morning, and I almost bought it, but I, I, I stuck to fish. Um... Oh, these are great. I, I didn't buy this, but I really want it because it looks like exactly like a little fern underwater and it's teeny. Um, spleen. Spleen wart. Oops, sorry guys. I know that's sickening uh, <laughs> to bump you around. But then they've got water sprite for five bucks. You know, and that's going to be 30% off too. Assorted boost of philandra. Um, that's their ten dollar assortment right there, like three to four pieces. So you can get a good decent amount from them too. Do 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 do. Oh, also the rose rotala, beautiful. Oh, here we go. This oval Ludwigia, um, or. Ludwigia ovasis. Very cool plants. Uh, tiger lotuses, onion plants, golden Nicaea with the red stems. Those are cool. Um, so, yeah. And then they've got all the tissue cultures the pearl weed, the hygro agora, uh, glossostigma for carpeting, dwarf baby tears. Um, all sorts of cool stuff uh, that they've got. Oh, and they have shrimp lollipops. I haven't tried those yet, but I've been meaning to get those for my shrimp and try them out. All right, guys. Well, I wanted to give you guys the rundown on what I was getting <laughs> and share some of that. Um, some of the same fish from the same place, just so you can see the quality. Well, of course, now it hides. But a lot of these fish are from there. This uh, this gal right here, 
the lemon pleco. She's big and healthy, a couple years old now. But I got her when she was small from them. And uh, wet spa is where I got these guys. But um, also got the cochus from them. Embers from them. Uh, and then, of course, the leopard frog pleco that's hiding right back there. So, yeah, and, and all my shrimp right now, other than the blue ones from Lucas Brett's, are from them. So, yeah, um, roseline sharks, that's right. Oh, you got a bunch of uh, parrot feather, huh, Rockford? Nice. Well, my wife is home, obviously, and we are, uh, we didn't get the house, so, uh, I think we're gonna maybe have some leftovers. We made, I made pork chops with an apricot and apple, candied apple, um, like demi-glaze kind of thing, we cooked it down with brown sugar and, um, Martinelli's, uh, sparkling apple cider, and then couscous, so, um, I think we might eat some of that tonight, but, uh, yeah, so I hope that you guys are doing well. Tomorrow night, we'll be back for a live show, um, and if Mary's feeling up to it, I know Mary hasn't been feeling so hot, and honestly, I haven't either, um, as you can probably see, um, I need, I'm needing to, I need to take more steroids and Benadryl to help, but, um, and my voice is going out, that's why I'm really ending this stream. Uh, but thank you so much, you guys. Uh, just, you know, I get excited about Cyber Monday. I'm going to be really excited to open up all the goodies and, you know, share with you guys species profiles on everyone. Um, but thanks for joining in. Uh, you know, just figured we'd hang out. And uh, tomorrow night, if you want to sh share um, some of your tanks, it'll be really easy. You don't have to do anything. You just, uh, you just basically click the link that I'll post and uh, you can come up if you've got a smartphone. Uh, yeah, I cook too. Not a lot, but when I do, I like to do it thoroughly. <laughs> uh, all right, you guys, have a wonderful night and um, I'll talk to you guys soon. My eyes are like, it's actually hard. I'm having a hard time seeing there's so much goopy stuff in it. What time does the sale end? I think it ends at midnight East Coast, so in, what is that, in like three hours, three and a half hours, it might be Pacific time, uh, actually they might be in Central, they might be in Central time anyways, come to think of it, they're in Indianapolis, so midnight in Indianapolis, um, but that's it, I'm losing my voice, uh, and I want to be able to talk tomorrow night, so and be shaved. <laughs> so I will talk to you guys later. Super chatters, thank you so much for the super chats. It helps to repay all the crazy fish we're going to get. Uh, I'll probably chat typing in the chat with you guys um, this week, later tonight or something. Uh, when does it even start? Starts right now, Gwambi. Um, Right now. Uh, this is for right now. Mary says, thanks for a great stream, Alex. Everybody love you all. Um, everybody, yeah, we love you, everybody. Uh, <laughs> prayers. Prayers to you, Mary. Uh, I'm doing all right. I know it's just some sort of allergy mixed with my autoimmune stuff. Uh, and then tonight, yeah, um, there's a stream uh, down by the bayou, down by bayou, down on bayou. Uh <laughs> Their mains, tails, fur, and fins, Jess, uh, is going to be uh, streaming 10 p.m. Eastern. So coming up here soon. But uh, yeah, go ahead and use that code uh, on either shirts and stuff if you want anything of mine. And I'll take requests also uh, for, for other things. And we're going to have some member-exclusive merch coming out for the holidays. So if you want to join the channel, it's only $1.99 to join, uh, but it predicts, it gives me a little more predictable income, and yeah, so, all right, guys, have a great night, I'll talk to you later, bye.